Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Joe here, Lorenzo on the camera, my grandson. We're gonna make a dish today. It's, it's an eggplant salad. In Sicily, they call it carbonata. It's a great little dish. It's a nice appetizer. You put it on some Italian bread. We'll show you that later. But we're gonna get started now. The first thing we're gonna do we're going to put some olive oil in our pan. And I'll get back to you when this heats up. Okay, I just want to start. We started with our oil in here. And we're going to saute our celery first. All these here quantities will be listed in the description below. So, but you want to start your celery first because it takes a lot longer for the celery to saute. We we'll do this about maybe six minutes, and then we'll put our, we'll put our onion in. We did this about five minutes here. You see, it's starting to soften up a little. Now we're gonna put in our onion. Everything is chopped. Nice. And we're gonna do this about five minutes. Now, and I'll get back to you when that is done, all right? Okay. Our uh, onions and celery are kind of getting nice and soft. And right before I'm ready to put the tomatoes, I'm not going to add salt to this. I'm going to add a couple of bullets, just two or three of anchovies. That'll give it a little bit of salt that we need. And a nice taste too. That's good. And you just keep sauteing that a little bit until that gets they end up dissolving in there. Okay. And now, and now we're going to throw, I'm going to put in my tomatoes. These are plum tomatoes, about a cup and a half. A half a can of the plum tomatoes. And we're going to kind of simmer this a little bit. Move this over to this stove range here, and I'll get back to you with the next step. Okay, well, our uh, sauce is simmering a little bit, nice, very lightly. I'm going to take our eggplants. I want to get about a pound and half inch cubes cut up, so I cut the ends off like this, and then I'm going to cut this down the middle. Some people, which you, you can do if you can't take the bitterness of it, but these are pretty young and they're pretty good. They're not too bitter. So you salt them for half an hour, let them sit in the drain, and then and then wash the salt off of them. It's a, it's a pretty, little bit of a procedure. And then what I'm gonna do is start cutting these into strips like that. And I want about half inch pieces. I'll get back to you when this is done and then we'll see, make sure we have a, at least a pound of them. Just to give you an idea how I'm cutting them, I cut them in strips, about a half inch. And then right down the middle like that. It's, not, you know, it's good enough for government work. Up about a quarter cup of olive oil in this frying pan, and like I said, I didn't salt this, but you don't really have to. If you like this, you can do that. Now we're going to try and saute all this up. Soften them up a little. They take up a lot of oil, so you might have to add a little more. But give it a little time before you start throwing a lot of oil in here. If you don't want it too greasy. Okay, this is about six minutes six minutes in. Oops. You see it shrunk up a lot. And they're getting nice and soft. And now we're gonna take them and we're gonna mix them into our tomatoes. Put the 
flame on this a little. Okay. And you want to just just simmer this a few minutes, about ten minutes. And I'll get back to you with that, and we'll show you the next thing. Okay, we simmered this up for about another 10 minutes, as you can see, and now they're nice and soft. Now we'll make our last couple of entries. Some people start off with uh, red peppers. I bought these salads with the pimento in them. It's easier that way, and I'm gonna put those in here. About a three quarters of a cup. And we got our capers. Like I say, all the uh, ingredients will be listed in the description. We got our capers going in. And we have a little sugar. And what do we got here? Vinegar, red vinegar. And we're gonna heat all that up. Oh, it smells beautiful. Now we're gonna, you control in dried basil if you want. I'll have the amounts, but I'm gonna, I have some fresh basil from the garden, so I'm gonna put that in. That's good. And we got that all in there. Now we're just gonna heat this up for about five, six minutes. Cook the basil in a little. Vinegar. Oh, it smells great. Right, Lorenzo? Yep. Okay, we're all done. I put it in a bowl here like this, and we want to cool this down in the refrigerator, and we want to serve this cold. Now, some people put pine nuts in or raisins. I didn't put either one of them in. The pine nuts are, it's like buying gold right now, so I'm not putting them in. But if you want, they're optional. You can put them in. I'm gonna show you how to serve this. It's a beautiful appetizer. Okay, here's an example how we can serve it. You can serve it on nice Italian bread. You can serve it on crackers. Uh, whatever you like, you can do whatever you want. It's a beautiful appetizer, nice and cold. And enjoy it. And thank you for watching. And don't forget, everything I put into this, the, in the description under the video, will have the quantities and listed. Have a good time, enjoy it.